Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back for more Uta Macross Gacha video. Yes, it is not over yet, although we are technically just shy of a month and a half um, before the game closes. So yes, before we begin with all the Gacha goodness, let me just remind you that I've actually put out a advanced advice info video yesterday. So if you guys have not caught it yet, I highly recommend you to go and listen to it because it's going to help you out greatly with what you should be doing in Mutham Cross during the last few days. So, alright, before we begin, um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram and of course the community wall of my YouTube channel, you probably know last night um, Dana actually dropped a brand new set of missions um, that gives us pretty much the item that I talked about in the video yesterday <laughs> that most of us really should be uh, having on hand right this point of time so yes we have a whole bunch of missions right here with the rare star fragments so yes they're giving us a whole buttload of fragments right here as you can tell i already cleared some of the missions by playing the red boss event because apparently all the missions they are non-daily types the highest requirement that you actually need to complete the entire set is 15 million high score <laughs> so if you actually watched the last video where i recommended you guys to do certain things high score achievement was technically one of the things that you needed to do because there are very powerful episode plates locked behind your uta rate so yes um, while sadly to say during this point of time of the red boss event it is kind of a hassle to you know kind of set up episode plates for your divas to try and attain high score it, it does take a bit of time to rearrange episode plates to try and get a better high score each time you play and especially for different songs so I would highly recommend you guys to do this maybe after the um i guess the red boss event because the red boss event technically kind of restricts the amount of uh, best used episode plates for high score um because they it's better for you to actually equip episode plates that gives you the bonus element um rather than fully pumping in the high score achievement stuff so yeah i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about <laughs> anyways if, but if you have the patience you know for it you know while waiting for the ap to regenerate for your red boss event you can technically go into the regular lives you know while trying to attain all the singing stones that you have yet to attain from those songs you can try and attempt to do high score achievements uh, during that time period as well but like I said it is pretty much of a hassle to you know reform your setup every time you tackle a new song so yeah I will highly recommend you do it between events when maybe we might have a few hours of free time before the next event starts that kind of situation so yeah 15 million high score <laughs> it's quite a feat <laughs> Even for whalers out there, um, I think whalers out there will probably be able to clear this easily because um, most of them can already hit like 20 million to 30 million high score, you know, depending on how powerful of a setup you actually have and the amount of duplicates that you've probably attained. So yes, now that I've said this, uh, let's move on to the gacha portion of this video because today's gacha video is technically going to be a bit longer than usual since we have a butt look to pull <laughs> alright <coughs> excuse me so yeah let's start off with the daily pulls and of course uh, do take note um, today is actually the start of the free template pulls and we'll be having it for you know this whole time period the, um, the episode plates appearing in this um, template pool right now is all from the first year of Utah Macross so all the old episode plates so it's basically just trying to help us to gain costume points for costumes we may be missing from our collection. You know, it, it's definitely a helpful thing, especially for people like me who are trying to archive stuff. So yes, if you guys have m read my 
uh, post about you know the tiring efforts I've been doing to record costume archives. Um, yeah, I'm still short of two costumes for Ranka, and sadly to say, um, I think one of them is a seven star episode plate, and the other was from year four because it was the um, Sharon Apple costume for Ranka. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of stuff missing, anyways. Um, it's nice that they're giving us free template pools, anyways. I'll be collecting recordings of my own template pools and collaborating them together, uh, compiling them together, um, you know, and eventually I'll release it as like best pools out of the template pools, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's do that, but let's start with the free single daily pool first and let's see how the luck is for today. Not that we really need to check, but there are some gacha pools that, you know, doesn't have the guaranteed 5 star episode play. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm getting Valkyries for a single free pool. That's pretty nice. Where we get a red box? Nope, no red box. Okay, so probably a pretty rare common plate. Yep, don't see this very often. Okay, it's still within the low, ten, uh, low double digits in quantity, so that's fine, I suppose. Alright, so I do have Super Dimension tickets, yes. How did I get these even though I've stopped subscribing to the Special Pass? Um, well, technically you can exchange for, you know, Super Dimension tickets, you know, with all the event stuff, so why not make this, you know, take this chance to try and get more costume points for costumes that I'm missing. So this gacha pool definitely is the regular rate, so... I wonder how lucky we can get. Ooh, there's a bit of a load bar. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. No, four, five. Okay, so today's luck is sticking to the mediocre side. Oh, rainbow box off the first blink. Interesting. Okay, at least we are getting a rainbow box. So that's something. Anything right now during these last few days of operation is. It's more than I can ask for, especially for our carving purposes. There we go, here comes the rainbow box. Wonder what we'll get. Oh my goodness, are all the episode plates from the first year of Utah Macross? Maybe it's not a good idea to pull during this time. <laughs> okay, it's something, but it, like I said in the last video, it may not be enough costume points to unlock a episode on so okay I do have guaranteed five star gacha tickets as well so yeah let's do this I'm gonna pull two copies because I can there we go there's a bit of a load bar so maybe one of the plates might be something new hmm single Valkyrie I mean, we know there are going to be guaranteed rainbow boxes, so... Okay, so we're going to see that red box evolve. Okay. That's to be expected. Oh! I'm going to have this plate fully evolve. That's fantastic. So yeah, I, I recall that I don't have this evolve. Oh! <laughs> see! This is what happens when I mention that you shouldn't vote for that plate because it is kind of easily attainable. So there we go. So like if you watched the video yesterday, we talked about the voting of the uh, episode plate giveaway by Dana um, for each of the divas. So Freya's was up for voting first. And of course, look, this is one of the episode plates that was available for selection. And there's no reason for you to you know, to get to vote for this episode plate since you can technically get it for free <laughs> through the gacha pools. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Something's in my throat today. Okay. So let's do the free template pool first. Let's see how things goes before we do the guaranteed five star gacha banner. It's like 
five pools, I have like 2,500 stones on hand, so that's quite a bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, single Valkyrie. Alright, considering that this is a regular rate gacha pool. Hmm. And it is free, so even if we don't get anything, it's kind of normal. Yep, not even a red box. I guess all the bad luck went to this gacha pool. That's fine. You know, it might bring us closer to gaining an episode off for certain costumes. You know, any little bit helps. But still. Alright, so here we go. Guaranteed 5 star gacha banner. Hopefully we get, you know, missing costumes and of course uh, it will be nice if we can actually gain some 7 star episode plates out of this. I need some Cheryl love. <laughs> I'm missing a lot of Cheryl costumes so that's kind of thing. Oh, load bars. That is kind of long. Okay, hopefully that's good news for me. 1, 2, 3. No, 4, 5? Seriously? Yep, yep. Supposed to be all rainbow boxes anyway. It would be nice to see the rainbow boxes evolve. Okay, let's keep going. Evolution for this one. But will it evolve further? That's another thing. Nope. Makina. Okay. At least they're not all old plates. Yep. Oh, lots of Makila. That's nice. No evolution on this one. Melane gets a bit of love as well. Ranka gets some love. I think I fully evolved this already. So, let's see. Okay. I remember this plate not being that useful. Probably one of the cuter costumes that Min Mei actually has. <laughs> Cheryl, yes, it's okay. I'm good for more Cheryl love, you know. Even though she's not my waifu, but for the sake of archiving, all good. Min Lane, yeah. All right, more Cheryl love. That's good. That's good stuff there. So yeah, got oh. Two plates that are new. One evolving, two evolving. That's nice. Any more? That's it? Okay. Oh! I can fully unlock Maki Maki's costume. That's great. Yeah, lots of progression. Alright, let's keep going. Still got four pools to go. Okay, a bit of data load right there, so that's good news. Okay, three Valkyries again. Five Valkyries! Nice! So we get our fully evolved rainbow. So we're gonna see three evolution animations. Mm -hmm. Okay, not too bad. that <laughs> okay I think I have this costume of Ray Ray's unlocked mm -hmm. oh crossover life no wait I think I've got most of the crossover life costumes unlocked already so yep I definitely have this costume of Basara's unlocked This is a very old plate as well. Alright. Okay. A lot of Machina love today. And a bit of Kanami. I think this is like the first episode plate for Kanami that I received. Hmm. Alright, good job, love. That's fine. Min Mei Love, first one for Min Mei as well. Although she has been popping up on the screen quite a bit now. 
Okay. I think I've got this unlocked, so... Oh, there's three. Basara split evolves. That's fine. Okay. Any notifications for costume unlocking? No? Alright, let's keep going then. Still no 7 star episode plates. That's kind of a bummer. Alright, that's a bit of a longer load than we've seen the last two rounds. Okay, 5 Valkyries. Come on, 7 star episode plates. It'd be great if it's something that I've not attained yet as well. Oh. I recall having this fully evolved. Here we go. How far will it go? No, they didn't go further. I think I have this. Hmm. I definitely have this unlocked. It's one of the more powerful Valkyrie sets anyway, so... <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just need two more. bit more Kaname love. It seems like Kaname doesn't appear very frequently. Well, at least for my account. Oh, birthday episode play. That's interesting. Alright. I don't really need any more Min Mei stuff because I technically have all the costumes from Min Mei already. <laughs> so yeah, it's just gonna be additional points for episode ops. Okay. Birthday plate from Elaine. That's fine. Lots of Makina left, surprisingly. <laughs> okay, so two plates that are new. I don't have Mikumo's plates for birthday celebrations. Surprising. Okay. Oh! Alright, so I get to unlock Basara's costume. <laughs> so, Kaname's as well. Interesting. It's quite a bit of progression. Okay, let's keep going. Two more rounds to go. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, this one is a bit long as well. Hmm. Four boxes to evolve. Hmm. Okay. I definitely have this unlocked because it was a set. Alright. Another old episode play of Ray Race. Alright. I don't think I've have this episode plate, so it might be new for me. Wow, that's very old. <laughs> it's showtime, oh my goodness. It used to be the best episode plate when Utam and Cross first started. You guys remember those days? Alright. Yeah, Makina really loves my account. <laughs> okay. I've definitely got this unlocked and evolved, so... Hmm... Okay... I have her costume unlocked, but I don't remember having her plate though. Hmm... Yeah, more Basara love, that's good! You know, I don't, I don't really get a lot of uh, Basara love for my account. But seriously, where are all the 7 star plates? <laughs> okay. Alright. Definitely unlock this set because, you know, um, Oshari Macross was big during that time period. So, yeah, definitely had to unlock the whole set. 
Surprisingly, Basara's Blade is new. Alright. Oh, I didn't evolve it before. That's interesting. Alright, let's keep going. It's the last pool. So, hopefully you get something nice on the last try. At least a 7 star plate, please. Load bars. Decently long as well. Let's go, let's go. 5 Valkyries? No, 3? Seriously? Okay. No evolution on this one. Ooh! You guys definitely know I've unlocked this costume already because you've already seen the archive. I hope so. Um, but I don't have that plate though, so. <laughs> oh, wow! Oshari Macross Boys Edition. There we go! Fully evolving? Oh, come on! I, I think I have this already. I, I have so many copies of this if I'm not wrong. Could have given me something that I don't have. Okay, more Min Mei love. Like I said, I've already got all of Min Mei's costumes, so... Not needed, but it's nice to have around. More Kanami love. Don't really have a lot of um, Freya and Mikumo love though. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Same as before. Uh, just when I was saying uh, there was not enough Freya, we get a bit of Freya, but you know, it's not a very powerful plate. More free other, so I guess Mikumo is now the last Viva that's not getting enough love. If I'm not wrong, I think this is the last one. Alright, Basara. Yeah, there we go. Lots of new plates. Surprisingly, I don't have that fashionable Macross Guys episode plate with Messer. Okay. A bit of progression. Like I said, it's kind of a waste that Milane's 7 star came out. I can see too, so many duplicate copies. Uh, it could have been nice if they gave me something else. Um, so anyway guys, that's it for my major gacha run for this month. Uh, I don't know if I can squeeze out any more singing stones for next month. But if there is, um, look forward to that. And of course, the compilation videos of all the best pools from the free template pools from here on out. Um, hopefully, it helps with you know archiving stuff. Like I said, being able to unlock costumes, you know, by all these gacha pools is definitely going to be essential for archiving. Um, I hope to maybe be able to attain some of the important seven star episode plates from all the giveaways later on. Especially for Cheryl, I'm missing a lot of Cheryl 7 star episode plays. So eventually, I think I will definitely need help with Cheryl's side of stuff. For the rest of the Divas, maybe not so much. But still, help is definitely needed. I'm already screaming and pulling my hair off with how much time and exhaustion I'm going through just to archive one Diva, or rather, one popular Divas costume selection. So it's, it's a lot of pain <laughs> I'm going through right now. So guys, what? how do you guys do for your own pools after scraping the barrel at the bottom for singing stones? Did you guys manage to get something fantastic for yourself better than I did? You know, one seven star episode plate out of 50 episode plate pools. It's, it's not fantastic <laughs> to be honest. But we did get three... Um, pop-up notification saying that we can fully unlock the costume just from pulling all these episode plates out. I wonder how many episode orbs I'll be able to attain as well from all the excess costume points. 
here and there. Who knows? Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video right after you do all the wonderful stuff. Like, share, subscribe, you know. Bye!